By almost any measure, the fiasco at the Shelby County Clerk's Office is as inexcusable as it is frustrating. But now you can add embarrassing to the list because our headache of dealing with long lines and ridiculous delays just to get your vehicle registered are also affecting people new to the state. Our Rebecca Butcher spoke to a woman who just moved here and didn't get a very good first impression. Natalia Heyman has been trying to get her Tennessee car registration and went to Mullen Station. Not one, two, nor three, but four different times. Today, waiting in line, she says, for about five hours, only to be turned away at a surprise early closing time of 3 p.m. I got there at 9.30. I didn't get into the building until around 12, and I didn't get seen until about 3. Hours gone after a day taken off, only to get turned away a fourth time in just two weeks. Talia Heyman has had enough. Um, they were separating the lines from people that were getting um, tag renewals and then uh, everything else was in another line. So I was in the everything else line. <laughs> Heyman has been trying to get her new in-state car registration. The first go around was last Wednesday, just before 2 p.m. She wasn't let in. Thursday, she was told to come back with her current registration copy since the original was stolen out of her car. Friday, she did just that, stood in line for at least two hours before the line was cut off at three. And Monday, a little bit frustrating just because the people that were behind me that had um, tag renewals were actually seen before me and they were like out of there in a matter of like maybe 30 minutes to an hour and I was just sitting there for like five hours. The lady at the desk also telling her a registration copy won't suffice, adding the Mullins location was closing at around 3 p.m. They're closing basically two and a half hours early. I honestly don't think that a government building should be closing earlier without, the, without, without approval. I don't think anybody approved this. And Shelby County Clerk Wanda Halbert says that if you are having a problem like this, you want to go ahead and report it to executive leadership. I'm told that office locations may cut off the line and close actually earlier based on the length of folks needing services that day to address financials, which go through the state. Meanwhile, Heyman is going to be trying for a fifth time for that new car registration, which does mean another day taken off of work. Richard. Well, there's just no excuse for that. Thank you, Rebecca. Wednesday, Shelby County Commissioners are expected to discuss a resolution to try to try to straighten out the Shelby County Clerk's Office. The resolution includes requesting Halbert repair all damaged kiosks, figure out some kind of way on how much staff is needed to efficiently operate the clerk's offices, and open the Riverdale location, which she has been promising for months to open, maybe, maybe by the end of this month.